Peace, family. This is Lions Demon, another news and commentary. This is a sad, sad story. A, a private Christian school named Apo Apoka denied admittance to a six-year-old with long dreadlocks. The boy's father feels racism kept his black son out of class. But the, stu but the school administration says short hair policy is long-standing and hasn't kept out lots of other black boys. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video and I'm going to give you the rest of my commentary. <laughs> my son just got told he cannot attend the school with his hair. If, I don't, if that's not bias, I don't know what it is. Personal opinion. Hmm. Man, they just told my son he can't come to school because he got hair. Wow. I can't plait it up. Can I braid it up? Can I braid it up? Is that okay? So, where's Mrs. Book has to give that? It's in our, in our. That's crazy, man. It's in our hand. That, it has that, to give up the ears. That's crazy. Oh, we can't, we can't, we can't. Stay calm. Don't trip. Don't worry about it, son. A books. Wow. Wow, wow. He ready to go to school, but he can't. Okay, um, the only thing that I have of his was the, uh, Registration paper and the step up for students letter. I'll have to un I'd have to unenroll him from it. But you I need everything. I need it all. I don't even That's want. That's all we got. I don't That's even want him here, period. Okay. Cause you I, see, he's not referring to me. I you refer to him as a boy. Like boys don't. Like, come on, man. He's hair. That's his hair. Like, the I, teacher, I, teacher, the hair is here. Like, what's the difference? I understand. I'm just saying, everybody has everybody hair is at their shoulders. What's the difference? That's, that's just it. <laughs> that's your rule. I, I respect that. But that's just not right. It's well, not. It's not. That's, that's it's that's not. Right. It's not. It's not. I it's not. I can't change that rule. I know. I'm sorry. I know, but if something wanna, has to be done. If you want to sign the withdrawal, then... I, I want to sign a withdrawal. Here we go. It's right here. He's glad. He can't attend because his hair is long. Wow. He has dreadlocks. He can't attend. <clears throat> First day of school, I got to withdraw my son. That's crazy. Good morning. Good morning. It's crazy. Good morning. That's very disrespectful and biased. <laughs> I should have been told this months ago. It was a and, it's not, it's, what, I mean, does that mean I can't braid his hair up? You wanted dreadlocks. I can't have dreadlocks in the 10 year school. That should have been persistent. No dreadlocks. Yeah. Let's go, man. <laughs> He can't come to school with dreadlocks. Huh? He can't attend his school with dreadlocks. <laughs> really? We been sent home. No dreadlocks, huh? No dreads. And says she, she said something about his 
She don't want none of her boys with hair above, but below their ears. I'm like, really? Prefer him like well, that, really? Just be drawn. Let me just, let me just. Let's go. Put, just go, go. Go sign the paper, man, because I'm going to go out. Sign the paper, man. Go withdraw the paper. Yeah, let's go, go down there. Let's go try this one out here. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know I changed, boy, cause I swear. Okay, people, you see what's going on with this little boy. He was only six years old, and they going to not allow him to go to school because he has dreads? You kidding me? Oh, and they said that, well, it's a policy say they, they don't have, that people can't wear long hair on, on behind, his, behind his upper back. See, this is what I'm talking about. See, why are you are not allowing this, this little six-year-old boy to go to school because they had dreads? Unbelievable. And then they say, well, we can't accept him because it's, it's the policy that they can't accept what look with his hair. Are you kidding me? See, ladies and gentlemen, this is why I'm saying another racial incident bias because they will not allow this young man, this little boy, to go to even go to school. And this is his first day of school. And then you heard what the guy said, that they should have notified him weeks ago and they didn't see this is what i'm talking about and I, i'm just basically saddened that this little boy had to go to school and obviously that he couldn't even go to school because he has he, he can't even wear dreads in his hair all because of his hair see this is what they targeting young little boys and young men and it's like they just like at work you know people won't have a, a dress code that you cannot wear your clothes or you cannot wear your hair the way it is or some some this is what I'm talking about ladies and gentlemen this is why I said time and time again we got to have our own schools it's cool time and time and time again that this little boy couldn't even go to school because of his hair wow so I hope the parents will try to roll him to another school because this is unfair. And hopefully one day he will get in that school. Well, not that school, but another school that will finally accept him. Not just, be, I mean, accept him not only because of his hair, but accept him because he would love to, 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 to learn and get educated. Because obviously it shows that even people say they have policies with the, with the hair issue. It's really, really bias leave me leave me a comment tell me what you think about this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe to my reaction channel and subscribe, and subscribe to my black junction channel for all the news and commentary with that being said it's lines and sign off deuces